Good morning and happy Monday day off. The last one for the next five days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, the next five days. I get Sunday off, shades of death, weather permitting. But uh, this morning we have 50 degrees currently and uh, 10 degrees Celsius uh, and foggy. So it is supposed to clear up. We did get rain pretty much from when I got to work until this morning sometime it finally decided to stop got little man out I don't know which way we're going here we went completely the wrong way but we are going to take a full lap he wouldn't go outside last night because of the rain so all right got a pedal this tree still has a couple leaves it never really changed colors it's a cool shot though all right Oh, uh, well, my Buffalo Bills uh, held on against the Colts. I say hold on, but they kind of controlled the game a little bit. I don't know. It was, uh, every game is, is always a little bit of a nail butter with them this year. <laughs> but they keep pulling out all but two of their games. And then, of course, then there's Craps Car, a.k.a. NASCAR, that uh, can suck a big, you know what. Um, I'm not ever turning on another highlight reel or race or anything ever again because their format is total BS. Once again, Shithead Logano is supposedly the champion. 14th in points wins championship and didn't have a prayer. Uh, this chase format can just piss off. I'm done. I'm done. I hate it. It's stupid. It was never right. And um, it's not like football and baseball and soccer and all this where you have elimination games. Teams aren't eliminated. You want to do the chase format? Fine, fine. Then the 12 drivers that are in it are the only 12 cars on the track. You eliminate four, you have eight. Then you eliminate four, you have four. That's it. Game over. I want to see people tune in for four cars racing around the track. And this crap with these people that don't belong in it being in it, it's got to end. And NASCAR needs a wake-up call by the fans not showing up and not participating. Good job, buddy. You got to do your boom-boom. All right. Let's take a quick lap here. <laughs> I missed my freaking challenge yesterday by three hundreds, three hundreds of a mile. No, two. I had 8.71. Two hundreds of a mile I missed my challenge yesterday. I won't be missing it today. Had I take the dog separately... Yesterday morning, would have gotten it. And actually, I don't know how I almost did a quarter mile at home yesterday, last night when I got home. Had I gotten up one more time, one more freaking time, I would have gotten it. So frustrated with it. So we got nine out of 10 days. We'll get it today. I'm not worried about it. I'll force the issue. Had I, on the way home, all I had to do was start a freaking walk and I would have gotten it. Didn't know, didn't, you know, I was tired, didn't think about it. <sighs> stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, oh, it's that's right. It is a holiday today here. What is it? What is the holiday? I forget. I don't even know if my calendar is going to tell me. Uh, November 11th. It's oh, it's Veterans Day. Okay, that's what it is. So some banks are closed, I think. Apparently schools are closed. Jersey Shore's not going in because Ruby's owner is a teacher at Jersey Shore, so oh, they get the day off. How about that? Oh, yes. It is, um, it's not too bad out here. If it was breezy, this would not be very pleasant right now, but it's not too bad. All right. Something really strange with the um, Bluetooth remote is you plug it in, the thing will blink that it's charging forever, but it was at 100% when I, when I unplugged it. It was still blinking. I don't know why. I forgot to charge it the night before, so it was down there pretty low again. I can probably do about two days with this thing. Maybe three if I really force the issue or have a slow day. I'm kind of glad last night. I didn't even realize I did say goodnight when I pulled into all these. And it was like, this, I was going to pull the camera out when I got to the car. It was pouring down rain. I'm like, I ain't going to mess with anything. And uh, then I thought the mic said it was low battery, but it said 100%. I'm like, I, was, I just didn't, I misread the message. I'm like, what? It's been on the charger all night. No, it wasn't on the, no, because I left it. I'm like, where is the camera? Everything was in my backpack. Once again, I need to revisit a different backpack. I got to figure out what to do, though, because 
the GoPro bags have that top pouch that just worked out perfectly for me. And I don't, I've never seen any other backpack that has that type of, um, you know, it's basically for the cameras and, and your accessories and stuff. And yeah, I don't know what, I just need a little bit bigger because like I have my Aldi's jacket. I usually have my long sleeve shirt and it's just getting too much for that, for the size of those backpacks because they're, they're kind of on the small side. But the thing that is, they are water resistant. And that was for carrying the computer back in the day, which I don't do anymore. Alrighty, on the list of things to do today, uh, right now the blower batteries are charging. I'm going to stop at mom's at some point. I think when we come back, um, I'm going to run down Seals Grove and get my screen protector replaced. Since I did buy a Zag one, I'm going to have them replace my Zag. And I'm going to try the clear Defender case on the iPhone, which I don't know. I think they have a screen protector built in which could be potentially be a problem. I don't know. I might have to just cancel that. But uh, I, it's just, I don't know. This case just concerns me. It hasn't been a couple drops and it, 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 I, it caved a lot more than I thought it should. Granted, it was a cheap Amazon case. Um, it's that original one I showed my first, and that video got a lot of views. My first case for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I think a lot of people wanted to see the, the cutout and everything, uh, which I thought when I filmed it. So that's kind of the game plan. Stop moms again, let them run around the backyard. Probably end up going somewhere and walking. I'm still waiting for this pine tree to fall, especially when we get this type of rain. We get a little bit of wind. That thing is leaning for the road. And they don't cut it down. One of these days, hopefully it doesn't fall when someone's driving underneath it because it's going to come down into the road. It's definitely tall enough. The other one needs to go too. Mark your territory, buddy. I'll shorten walks up here, but then we're going to take walk somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to do Milton again, and that other one over at Seals Grove is really boring. <sighs> Figure it out. Mr. Baker hasn't answered me whether or not he's working today because I would take, if he is, I would actually go the back route and stop in there and have him adjust my glasses again. See if he, because he said they should adjust. He said the Ray-Ban frames should adjust, but I've struggled doing it. You almost have to heat them to melt before they'll bend any. And I think, like I said, it's the piece where the arms connect. That's where it needs to come in right there because you can't do it in the bridge than bridge because the one my right lens is so thick that it wants to pop out when you do that. So you almost need to bend the uh, the main frame right where the arm connects to bring it in. So of course he might be in a different store too. Well, how that would work out if he's in Lewisburg? Because we'll go. We can we can just swing right by there. Kind of hmm. I really don't have the money to stop it, Wangers, but what was I going to check there? Oh, bags coffee. See if we was getting Dunkin' Donut coffee. That'd be really good in the bun. When we do go, that would be one thing that, the only thing on the list would be a high-end pot of coffee or bag of coffee or something. Okay, that was really strange. Where are you going? We're not going that way, Priya. What is your problem? Did you hurt your foot? She's walking down the stairs like she's avoiding something. And then she's done it since she's been outside. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby, baby girl. Get your ears off the wet ground. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, we'll let the slug just walk way behind me and I'm just going to drag her, I guess, 25 feet away. Okay. Dog number two, it was a very short walk. Like I said, we are going to get out. I'm going to do stuff today. So, get my challenge easily. I was just really weird yesterday how I didn't get it. But, I don't know. It seems like work walking has demised. I might have to reset calibrations or something. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's counting everything. Um, I'm trying to think of where we can, where ultimately we can go for a walk then. Now that we got a little bit of rain, but I mean, it's not going to make waterways overflowing, that's for sure. I don't know. 
we'll figure something out. We always do. Took her to one of her more prominent areas for doing business. <laughs> she should have to go. Because I didn't even take her out at all last night. She used her puppy pad and she only peed. Wow. Oh. Definitely feels like uh, fall. Except it's a little on the warm side. 50, 50 degrees in November. That is For Pennsylvania, that's a little on the uh, high side. Considering it's what? 9 something in the morning? 9.05? Jeez. It's really early for it to be this warm. Maybe in the 30s, maybe low 40s. A new screen protector. Now, let's see if I have any lens cleaners in my bag. Alcohol wipes. Yeah, the only thing I'm a little disappointed in is the fact that they stuck the label on the box in such a way that it actually stuck to the case, and I had to try to get some of the label off my brand new case. I didn't really appreciate that too much. I don't think I do. I don't think I have any lens wipes in here. Oh man, these sunglasses are quite filthy. I don't want to use alcohol wipes on them. Oh, maybe, maybe I do. Ha ha ha. Yeah, make sure I keep throwing more in here. I got a bunch of debris I got to get out of here too. I don't know. Um, so there's the OtterBox Defender. Now it doesn't come with the holster. I don't even see the lock-in for the holster on this one. It was kind of tricky to put together because the that one the plastic piece actually pulls out of the front, locks back in. People are not happy about this indent. That is pretty serious. So we'll see. I don't know. I, I honestly, if it avoids me from touching the button, because now with the new Apple Intelligent feature with the camera on there, I'm done to pick the camera up, or the can 
phone up, I end up hitting that button and activating intelligence. Not well thought through. I, I guys might be realizing I'm I'm uh, getting a little fussy in my old age here with uh, designs. So, yeah, I called Verizon. I try to do a I try to play a trick on move the the Apple Watch that's on Verizon over to another line and then activate the one from Xfinity. Well, it pops up that that IMAI is shared number shared with another number, which is technically the Google Pixel's number. I don't even know how that's even a thing. I don't know how the hell I was supposed to be able to put another watch on there then. Oh, no, it switched over to the other iPhone that was on the account. That's why. Okay. All right. Um, since we're down this way and it's such a long trip, I think we're going to just swing into the, the thrift store down the road. Just take a quick walk around and then get the hell out of here. I don't think... I don't know. Part of me should... You know, head down and see if Mike can adjust these glasses, but part of me is not. That's too much. Alrighty, all done at Mom's. A nice lunch. Got Leah's blown out. Got her door somewhat fixed. Unfortunately, I have the bad battery in the drill. So it died. So I got to go back over with that, and I didn't have enough three inch screws to re anchor the hinges need to change out basically all but one because I had one three inch screw. <laughs> so that'll be another another day over there. Uh, won't take long, but I did get, and that was actually the problem. The latch didn't really need pushed out as much as the door needed actually screwed back in. The hinge was out and it was making the door drop so it couldn't hit the latch. Setting the plate. So we're over by Lily's garden again. Figured we'll just do this one because it's close. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's start taking a walk. I don't think we're going to go as far as we did last time. Just kind of go to the end of the uh, basketball courts there and then turn around and make your way back to the car. Just something to give these guys an outing since they they got to play in the backyard a while, which meant they laid at the front door while I was helping mom. Oh, we got to poop. I'm sorry. It's Callie's garden, not Lily's garden. I do apologize. And I don't know if I actually filmed this last time, but they actually decorated for fall. Makes it cute. Kind of curious and see what last night's rain did to this little stream. Probably not a whole lot. Come on, Bree. Pumpkins and mums all over the place. Uh, eh, might be up a teeny bit. This doesn't seem to get overly affected. Um, because we're having some of the other flooding, it didn't do much. It looks a little higher. Pretty sure if I look back at the other day's video, it's it's a teeny bit higher than it was. Not sure how much rain we got last night. Air is still, which is nice. That is pretty sight. It has been very cloudy today, though. That's really cool looking. Uh, trying to keep the driving video down a bit today. Uh, kind of cut a couple little spots that I thought would be interesting with the the mode I put it in with the balancing, with horizon balance, so. Yeah, overall, tail sniffing a rock and Prius pulling. Your brother's sniffing a rock, dude. Gotta wait for him. Oh, uh, yes, Ooh, we have that one. We have Froggy. <laughs> but they've been good kids all day long. They've been, they give mom kisses in the ear when we went for lunch and give me kisses in the ear. Well, this one did. Mateo struggles. He didn't have quite much, as much line to get up. Priya's longer, too. Mateo, you gotta go over the bridge, bud. You don't have a problem any other time. Yeah, there's definitely more water here the, today. It's just, it's cute over here, and it's simple. It's not a lot on him. It's not a lot on me. I'm ready to take a nap. I gotta get the video released. Oh, Priya's gonna do drop a deuce, I think. Gonna drop one? There it goes. Yay, double poops. I wonder when they light the Christmas lights over here. We need to come over and see. Get over, Priya. Priya, come on, get over. A jogger. 
He didn't do very high on this tree. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. I wonder how they get all the outlets plugged in now. Because there's nothing plugged in yet. Come on, Priya. Sit for your walk. You've done your business. And this is what makes this area so tranquil. No sound of running water. I feel like this area is different. I feel like they've cut a lot of stuff out of here. Because I don't remember it being like this last year. Maybe it was. Priya, would you quit yanking me places, please? Yeah, it's definitely got a couple inches more water because it's able to kind of flow through these rocks better. Anybody remembers this from my birthday when it was snowing out when I came over with the Action 4. On the video to go along. All right, make our way up, like I said, to the end of the basketball courts and then make our way home. That sky, though, is showing up so pretty. A little bit of a reflection going on there, but not a lot of detail. It's not wide enough for it to catch the mountains. The sky, though, is just blowing my mind every time I look at it. What I see on the camera is so vibrant. Yeah, and down here is the spot I kept talking about. I never bothered because not enough water to really matter right now. <sighs> like I said last time we were here, we definitely need snow this year. With the lack of rain we've had, either that or we're going to have a rainy, rainy fall, which we're notorious for. Especially years I work outside, so this year shouldn't be so much. <laughs> Get an overhead. Well, the uh, next and last thing that we have coming for tech this year is loom laps. Um, Australian Post does have it in route, so I don't exactly know when it's going to be here, and I don't exactly know how I'm going to get to use it because honestly, it uh, is something that kind of just takes hours and hours and hours of. It just firing 30 second shots at the sky on a tripod. So I think my first test will probably be on the patio. My only concern is the back patio light coming on. So it should be interesting, but we'll give it a shot. Hey, Mateo, you guys ready to go home and have dinner? Mateo, looks like I'm busy. Mateo, you want to go have dinner? <laughs> He's like, I'll show you the way, man. Oh, hold on. I just caught the sniff of something. Yeah, see the fence line here? They have Christmas lights weaving through. We'll definitely make our way over at some point and see it. We've got pickleball courts over here, too. Forgot about those. Saw them in New Jersey the first time. We didn't even know what the heck sport it was. This is the other nice trick about this handle is the fact that with the case on there, the cage, you can actually put it on the side and reach out over top. Good for uh, if you want to film outside your driver's window while you're driving down the road, too. <laughs> you mean the smallest puppy in the world? Yeah? Years old yesterday. Oh, geez. What's her name? Harley. Harley? This is Mateo, and that's Priya. <laughs> Gentle bunch of puppies. Yes, you were a good boy, Mateo. Because it was a little girl. I couldn't be mean. Oh. <laughs> Come on, bounce it down. Get jealous. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah. Bye, baby. 
All right, that was more of a one for two on that one. Mateo was a little aggressive. I'd pull him away, but Priya sniff noses with her. Definitely, definitely had pit bull. I think he said the dog was 17 years old. Holy crap, looks good. I thought it was probably six. <laughs> it really makes me sad that we lost Arizona and AJ five years before that. Damn, I still think the water over there has a lot to do with their problems. So, I don't know. All right, we're just about done with the walk. I think I'm gonna call the video because I'm gonna go home and relax. Gotta get yesterday's released because I forgot to do it when I was at mom's. I was busy visiting. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Good night, stay safe, see you tomorrow.